was down here setting up cameras with Susie, there is an odd like mist, like right here in this section, not really here or there. I almost looked like someone had like smoke or vape or something, but there was a mist that was like right here. Huh. So I didn't want to mention that. Do you feel anything on the cabinet or this or? Um, residual, but nothing really much, but I just wanted to say that was kind of odd. Oh. You can go in if you want. <laughs> yeah, it's uh really heavy in here. Yeah, I don't know what this was used for, but it, it's super heavy. God, I almost feel gross in here. And I don't know, I mean, it looks like it was some sort of storage room, but I don't know what kind of storage it was for. I guess vaults, because there's vaults in here. I'm not sure if those are original, but it feels kind of gross. So stand right here, right here where I'm standing, and tell me if you feel anything, because I do. Yeah. I mean, I still feel like back here. And... That doesn't make sense if it was just stored for money and gold, silver, stuff like that. There's something else that has happened in there. And I don't want to say it was negative, but it was definitely something that left a, a huge impression because I get a pretty heavy feeling going in there. I don't know. It's really weird because I don't feel like that there's something like a negative presence or anything like that in there, but it feels like there's a residual that is on the negative side of something that bad that happened there and that it's leaning more towards someone either got hurt or someone got killed it's towards that end of the spectrum of stuff now um they put the vault behind a wooden door so the bandits would know where it was mm -hmm. this is called a masking door okay. stayed a secret till about 1883 when someone spilled the beans two men broke in here at night to come to rob the vault they thought the guard would be gone our vault was guarded 24 7. Mm -hmm. And he's inside, he's listening to all this go on, right? He waits until they get right about where you guys are. He slung open the door, he shot them both in the chest, and unfortunately they died right where you're standing. It's okay that we changed the carpet. There's a lot of residual energy in here. Um, wow. Um, there's definitely this was a very common room. Like there's a lot, I feel like a lot of people would hang out in this sort of area and stuff. I'm not sure if this was like a visiting room. I see like all the couches and stuff. I don't know if they're original, but this space, whether these things were original to this space or not, this felt like this was a very common type of sitting room or visiting room or something like that. There would be a lot of people in this area. Yeah, this was the part. Um, there's an attachment to this organ piece right here that I feel pretty strongly. Not so much on the bookcase or anything like that, but that organ piece. And not really the dress either, which is funny because clothing usually has a pretty strong residual behind it because of obviously people that wear them and stuff like that. I don't feel a whole lot off of that piece, but I feel it more off the actual organ, but this room in general is pretty heavy with residual just because of the, the amount of people that I feel that were in here. This place is heavy. All right. Definitely the stairs. Something travels the stairs often. And it feels female to me. Yeah, I feel like it just passed by me, actually. I'm not sure if there's been any sightings of it, like right here, but it feels like this is the most traversed area that the piece is at. Go like literally walking down the stairs. Like I can They're see super her. Tall. I can see her yeah. coming down, like literally like walking down. And I feel like people have seen her almost like she's floating now, like she's coming down pretty fast, not even like as slow as we were walking coming down. It's like just a whoosh. And sometimes she appears like as a mist. Hmm. 
Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised no, if there's pictures of mist here. Stairs. Towards the middle. I feel like the woman was much more attached to this place than he was, which is actually kind of surprising because I, I don't know, I, back then, I mean, the men were so involved in the building of the houses and things like that, too. It just seems like that it would just, you would think that it would be him. Yeah. But I feel her presence like so much more and just that she was really attached to this house. But there's also some sort of sadness revolving around either things that happened while she lived here. Um because I'm just feeling like she's not really like at rest and she's not, it's good she's not happy. And this is where Johnny Depp had his experience up here was in that room. This is Mackie's room. This is the room that Johnny Depp had the experience with Emma. Spiders aren't real, don't freak out. It's just kind of what we do. I feel like somebody passed away up here. I'm not 100% sure that it was in this room. But I feel like somebody passed in the house. Maybe the lady. Holy crap. That room on the left. Whew. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay. Wow. Cool. Something definitely hangs out in here. Um, it's definitely also female. Probably the same female that travels that stairs. I feel it a lot um, kind of towards where the bed area is at. Um, not necessarily on any of the furniture, possibly that chair, but mostly in the center of the room right there. Whew, it's heavy in here. I like how they always put dummies everywhere. That dress, definitely has a feeling behind it. That one not so much, but that one does. I almost can see a woman, kind of brown hair, wearing that that dress. That's, that is the immediate feeling that I got when I, when I looked at that. Um, a lot of female stuff, which is weird. And I understand there's a lot of dresses and stuff in here, so that kind of makes sense to me. Um, I hate mirrors, so I'm not even going to talk about the mirror, <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some shit that happens with that mirror. As we are just getting started with our investigation on the gazebo in the mansion in Mrs. Mackey's room, there is a strange anomaly that seems to walk in front of the armoire. You can see here, there are no external lights. This could not be caused by a car, because as you can see in this clip, when a car drives by, no light is shown on the armoire. Not so much this, and not so much the bed or this piece of furniture, I don't know what those are called. That's a chaise lounge. Um, but definitely that dress. Okay, so you can know who these people. This is this was the wife's room, and this was the husband's room. So this was John Mackey's. Really? Yeah, this was John Mackey's room, and this was his wife. But I feel a female presence in here. Well, it doesn't mean she didn't come in here. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? It might not be her. It might not be her. Could have been the maid, or somebody else who lived here. Servant. Who knows? Now, granted, I don't like dolls, but I'm going to tell you, these are not a good addition to the house at all. Any specific ones? I 
one. Definitely that one. <laughs> like, and it's not even just the fact that it doesn't have eyes, but that is just like, there's not anything good with that. Those ones are fine. That one is not good. So I'm going to say that one, this one, and that one are probably going to be the top three. But yeah, for this being like a kid's room, this doesn't feel like a kid's room to me. And I don't know if it's the energy coming off of the dolls, but this room does not feel good. Okay. So you got nothing like off of that one? I got a weird feeling off of the that one. The one down there? Yeah. I don't like it, but I'm not feeling that as negative about it. It actually has human hair. Child's bedroom. I mean, you're not... We... Wow. Lots of dolls. Yep. <laughs> Yay. What's your favorite? Mirrors and, and mirrors. <laughs> and mirrors. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm not getting a whole lot in here. And I think a lot of it is because of just the dis the pure distractions. That's really hard to focus because it is just dolls and stuff. And that's super distracting to me. Doesn't so nothing on any of the dolls or... Um... God, I hate this. <laughs> Honestly, Let's see if I can focus here. That one, right there in the corner of that chair. Real hair. I just wouldn't. Watch very closely, and you will see that Steve has the recorder in his hand. Uses his right index finger to press the record button. Moves his finger away from the buttons. Sets the recorder in the doll's lap. What he doesn't know is, is the second that he set it down, it stopped recording. Though his finger did not touch any button after setting it down. This will become apparent in playback. Walking. Like, I did this. I took the recorder, I pushed the button, and I set it on the doll. Yeah, see? And it stopped recording. not right stuff in there. No, you set it on the doll. Yeah, I set it on her like this. I I didn't hit the button again. I pushed the button and set it down. It was this high. It, it was this far away from her. I did this and I did that. That's why you hear what you hear. Right? That's why you hear that much of it. What the fuck? I obviously pressed record. Yeah. That one I feel like was probably interacted with the most out of all of these. I know mm -hmm. that's that's the one that I'm I'm kind of feeling like it has been interacted with the most. I, that one's super fucking creepy. I don't think that's really it. I feel like that if anything is attached to anything or anything like that or has like a heavy residual to something, it would be that one in that chair. I so. will tell you that that doll is hand painted and has human hair. And then this one over here is Maddie, and she has human hair and a hand painted face. The uh, in the chair? Yeah. That one right there? Yes, that doll right there is hand painted and has human hair. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Human hair. I kind of get the feeling, and I don't know if that belonged to a child or not. But that one felt like it was interacted with the most, whether it was with a child or a person or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever collect, whoever's collection this was, that one has been interacted with the most, whether it was played with or whatever. Gotcha. Another creepy doll. This room doesn't feel as bad as the other one. This one has a little bit more of kid energy in it. This upstairs has some weird energy. Yeah, the it's baby really, doll used to sit like, on this back in the day. This is like confusing energy. It'll be interesting to see what Brett says about it too. But just feeling really like, like just, I don't know, is weird. Oh, sorry. Cool. Cool, guys. <laughs> okay, first off, that teddy bear has quite a bit of energy coming off of it. Um... That doll does too, but dolls creep me out. So 
that might just be creeping around because that thing looks creepy. It does look really old, so it wouldn't surprise me. But I actually feel more, for some reason, off of that teddy bear than I drew that doll. I know nothing about the teddy bear, but you could be right. And honestly, probably of anything else in here, for some reason, this little trike has something. This has moved before. I wonder, and I don't want you to, you can tell me later or not, but I'm wondering if anyone's ever heard like the squeaking of its wheels or anything like that, if this is actually- It was not mentioned to us. It's possible, I'm sure, but it hasn't been mentioned to us. Yeah, these are definitely original 1800 stuff. I, I don't really feel it much off that one. That baby but, doll used to sit on this. But I, Okay, but I feel it off this one. Like this was interacted with a lot. Okay. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's still interacting with. You know, it's interesting that I feel like that this room was the woman's favorite room out of the whole house. I actually feel her more in here than I did in her own bedroom. Okay. So I think she spent a lot of time in here. Um, and it's so weird because a lot of people, and mostly women, I feel like their bedrooms are like their safe place. I mean, that's where you go to sleep. You know, all your really personal stuff is there. But I mm -hmm. feel like that this room was kind of her, like her safe space. Like she would just be, I can like see her just like kicking back in here and spending a lot of time in here. I'm still trying to figure out why she's really sad. I don't know if she had a child that died possibly, like some kind of traumatic something. I don't know. That's her. That mirror. This one? That mirror. Yeah, we really didn't talk about that mirror so too much. This mirror. I don't know if this is original or not to this place, but it definitely has a lot of interaction and stuff. But I wouldn't be surprised if there has been. Yeah. Something flunky that mirror. 